What's going on guys? Welcome to the week 8 team builder for the WBE. My name is Wolf Glick. Um, I am the coach of the Milwaukee Bewares. And yeah, we're going to walk through the team that we're bringing this week to our match versus Kyle A. Kyle's a great guy. Um, really nice guy. I like him a lot. Uh, got a really powerful team. So let's go ahead and walk through this. So he's got Azumarill, Celebi, Donphan, Heliolisk, Bronzong, Ariados, Mega Charizard X, Umbreon, Porygon 2, Miss Magius, and Heracross. Um, his Z Crystal is Normalium Z. So um, his team's really scary. He's got Azumarill and Mega Charizard X, which are really powerful sweepers. And Heracross is actually really annoying for my team. Don't have a ton of great like. I got actually. I have. I have. I have some good positions for it, but I have a feeling it's going to be Scarf to outspeed my Mega Tyranitar after a Dragon Dance. Um, so there's that. Um, thinking, 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 thinking. Yeah. So when I was building. Um, I thought Amoongus looked really strong here, but I couldn't... Okay, so I, when I was thinking about Azumarill, I couldn't really think of a good way to beat it consistently if it was, like, max speed Z Belly Drum. Like, I could have run Defensive Mew, which is what I ended up doing anyway, but I, I could have brought will -O but I kind of wanted Stealth Marks on my team, so... Um, these are the six we're bringing this week. I'm going to go in the order of the nickname theme, so... Um, first up, we don't know, we have I Don't Like Sand um, stream. Tyranitar. Uh, Tyranitar's really strong here. After Dragon Ants, if you can get some prior damage in the Dawn Fan and... Um, the Heracross, actually the Heracross, if you have speed, you're fine. So if I can get some prior damage on the Heracross, or on the Dawn Fan, then plus one Tyranitar beats his whole team, um, pretty much straight up. Um, I've got Substitute here so I can set up in front of the Umbreon and in front of the, um, Porygon 2 as well, and the Mismagius, uh, yeah. But basically, I need to watch out for the Heracross somehow, but if I can get a free sub up and get two Dragon Dances, or if I can get Tyranitar in once Araquanid has set Sticky Webs, then, um, we're gonna be... In really good position. Um, I think that's all I have to say about Tyranitar. This outspeeds Helios because fastest Mon after Dragon Dance. Didn't see any need to go anywhere else. Max attack, but plus one Rock Slide, KO Heracross, and that's it. Um, next up, we have Tornadus T, of course. Um, outspeeds Helios. Really good in this matchup. Uh, I really like Tornadus. He's got really no good ways of removing it quickly outside of a boosted Mon. This spread lives um, Flare Blitz from Adamant Charizard X, which is really nice. Uh, and Rocky Helmet Dunes, it does a lot of damage in return. Um, Air Slash, Knock Off, Taunt, and Defog. I normally only run one of Taunt or Defog, but <coughs> I have a lot of hazards this week, and um, I have a lot of hazards this week, and I kind of wanted to... Thinking. What was I even going to say? I wanted, I wanted to be in a scenario where Basically, I've been bringing Taunt Tornadus T a lot, and I've been leading with it a lot, and at some point, I think people are going to start adapting, and they're going to start bringing Mental Herb, and so, if he runs Mental Herb Bronzong, and he sets Stealth Rocks early on, and I don't have any ways to remove, it could be really bad for me. Um, super bad, actually. So, my plan was, like, okay, like, I actually am not planning, with, planning on leading with Tornadus, but in case I do want to, um, just in case, like, I think he, like, doesn't have things that are good against it, uh... I want to have, like, ways just in case he carries Mental Herb on something, like Mental Herb Dawnfan or Mental Herb Broadzong, um, that I can still, I can taunt, get rid of the item, and then defog and get rid of the, the hazards as well. Um, it also means that I don't need to worry as much about, like, the, like, I can, I can go for damage early game and let him go for rocks, because, and then get Tornadus in, um, or any hazards, like webs as well, um, and then focus on getting Tornadus in and going from there, um, because, yeah, um, because thinking... Because I can remove them with Tornadus. That's what I wanted to say. Um, knock off an Air Slash are solid. Like, his team is pretty bulky. I can get rid of, like, Miss Magius' item, Porygon 2's item. I can Oko Heracross. Uh, Umbreon's another bulky mon. Like, these three are super bulky. Also, uh, getting rid of the item is nice. Air Slash is good coverage versus the rest of his team. Like, knock off an Air Slash. They hit everything for at least a little bit of damage. Um, and we have, like, some investment in special attacks, so that's good. Um, I don't like saying it's coarse and rough, so the next member is... Um, Araquanid. Uh, I wasn't sure about Magic Coat or his Toxic this week, but I went with Magic Coat in the end. Um... Because I think I'm Araquan is kind of the mon I plan to lead with, um, and so if you lead with something like Dawnfan or Bronzong, then I can go for a Magic Coat and bounce back Stealth Rock. I can also bounce back Toxic um, from Umbreon or Porygon too, which I think is possible. Um, which also makes him more weird, like more hesitant to go for a setup moves like that. Um, but yeah, just kind of standard Araquan. The Wackenberry so that I can bring it in versus Charizard X um, and do a lot of damage with Liquidation. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Wackenberries, yeah, specifically for Thunder Punch Treasure Decks. This lives plus one Thunder Punch, which is not something a Raccoon can normally do. Um, Leech Life is just nice for, like, the Umbreon um, and, and the Celebi. Uh, I don't really expect him to let me Leech Life those things, but you never know. Um, and Sticky Web is really nice because it supports Titar and Amoongus, who we'll get to next. So 
We actually are bringing Scarf Amoongus this week um, because of Azumarill, so that if he goes for Belly Drum, we can just bring in Amoongus and then kind of clean house um, from there. Um, I kind of feel like my sets, my sets this week are a little wonky. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but um, I actually think I have a chance of winning, which is nice. But yeah, Scarf Amoongus actually isn't as stupid as it looks here. Uh, after If we can get Sticky Webs up and he doesn't, Scarf Amoongus outspeeds anything that's not Scarf on his whole team, which is pretty funny in my opinion. Um... So that's cool. Um, Sludge Spore, Giga Drink, Clear Smog. I definitely wanted the first three. Um, Spore, nothing on his team except for Celebi can take a Spore, and that doesn't really want to switch into Amoongus. And yeah, and just basically, I, I brought Clear Smog. I don't think I'm going to use it too often, but just in case, like, I don't know. I, I wasn't sure if there was a situation where I would want Clear Smog. Um, and I, there wasn't really any other move that I thought would be super great here, so. Because um, it doesn't learn, like, Trick or Switcheroo or anything, so. Yeah, so I went with Clear Smog. I don't expect to really be using it too much, but just in case, like, you never know. Um, yeah. So there's that, um, I don't like sand, it's coarse and rough, and it gets, and irritating, and it gets, okay, so Mew is next. So this is my Charizard X counter, um, this lives two Flare Blitzes from Jolly Charizard X, and it also lives plus one Adamant Flare Blitz from Charizard X, uh, and can KO and return with counter. Um, it's also my Stealth Rock user this week, because we're not bringing Fortress, this gives me, um, I have three types of hazards this week, the Stealth Rocks, Sticky Webs, and in a second you'll see Spikes, um, but yeah, Stealth Rock's really nice this week, um, I, I'm planning on just getting hazards up, and then kind of being annoying, um, we have a spin blocker this week. He only has one form of removal, which is his Dawn fans, um, Rapid Spin, except for his Charger X, who has Defog, but I honestly don't expect him to be bringing Defog Charger X because it's such a waste of, like, the Mon. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Counter Roost, Psychic, Stealth Rock. I wanted to move that could do damage, so I brought Psychic. Counter and Roost are there for, like, Roost is there so you can stick around, and then Counter is there for the Charger X, and also the Azumarill lives plus six Aqua Jet. Um, I wanted Will O Wisp over Stealth Rock, kind of, but I, I decided on Stealth Rock in the end because if I can get it up, it'll just be really nice to, to gradually chip down his team. Um, and yeah, Matt, the bulk is already mentioned. And okay, last one is Frostlass. Spikes, Will Wisp, Destiny Bond, Ice Beam. I kind of wanted, I don't know, I just wanted to bring Frostlass. Um, it's a good spin blocker. Ice Beam actually pressures like Celebi and Dawnfan and Heliolisk and Ariados. Uh, and Spikes can kind of set up on like Porygon 2 and. Maybe not with Magius, but like Heracross as well. Um, and we could trade, can always trade Frostlass. Frostlass at speed is whole team, so we should be able to trade Frostlass for one of his mods in the worst place, worst case. Um, it's also nice insurance as like a Focus Sash Will O Wisp or Destiny One user against setup mods. Um, yeah, because, yeah, just, yeah, for obvious reasons. Um, forgot what I was saying. I think that's kind of it. Curse Body is also really nice. Um, Curse Body is an amazing ability. Um, so. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, so kind of general game plan is try and get some hazards up. Disrupt him with Tornadus T. It's, every time Tornadus T comes in, it's going to be putting on a lot of pressure. He can't get rid of it quickly enough. I don't think anything on his... Most things on his team can't Oko it. And Taunt and Knockoff pressure is going to be really big. Um, and Air Slash is going to do damage as well. Plus, it's nice to have Defog. Um, goal is to get some chip damage to Donphan. Get our own webs up. Don't let him get any kind of speed control. And then get a Dragon into T-Tar and then win the game. Um, using Amoongus to stop the Azumarill. Uh... Araquanid is just good for damage, Mew to stop the Charizard X, and Frostlash just to set some spikes and give us some more entry hazards. Um, and I think that's all i got to say. So, thank you so much for watching. Battle goes up tomorrow. Check out Kyle's channel as well. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.